everyone. It's Bolt. I think I'm going to do a little bit of a channel update. I haven't done anything of the sort since I started this YouTube thing. And quite frankly, there's been a lot going down in the world of Bolt. First and foremost, as many of you who have watched my live streams and listened to me and chatted with me on Discord and various other communications, you'll know that I did network for Verizon Wireless. Unfortunately, the Thursday before Thanksgiving, they said, you know what, we know you've been doing this for 20 years, but would like you to leave now. So I got laid off. Nice severance package. I'm covered uh, with benefits and whatnot into well into next year. So it that money isn't really that huge a deal. It's more the shock of losing two decades of well, I, I dare say family. That's what that whole company was about. But I'm not gonna go on and on about something that has changed irrevocably and arguably for well not for the better. But that is uh quite frankly, a, a big bump in the road in my pursuit of doing this a little more often. As of right now, I don't have anything to do, so I should be getting more things out. However, <laughs> I'm kind of down in the dumps, so <laughs> the the desire to actually do anything doesn't just doesn't pop up. Uh, by the way, what you're seeing in the background here is... Uh, a little test that Anubis and I were doing for space engineers after that massive beta update. The physics overhaul. And you could see by what's on the screen behind you that it obviously worked perfectly because, you know, everything's sitting there nice as it should. It's grinding down exactly as it should. There's no weirdness whatsoever to the physics in the game anymore. Alright, and sarcasm. So, anyway, um... Yeah, the job thing, a bit of a problem. Um, I'm battling a number of things. Again, most of you know, my son was diagnosed type 1 diabetic earlier this year. We're fighting through that. We're still in the figuring out how all this crap works stage. Even even though he's diagnosed on February 1st, it's still, it's still a fight 10 months later. Like, uh, I woke up this morning at 2 a.m., after we had streamed until midnight last night, because it's Friday when I'm recording this, um, to a low blood sugar beep beeping at me from him, from our phones. So my wife and I got woken up, we went over, we checked it all out, it turned out it was a false alarm, but regardless, it still ends up being a drain on your energy and your time and your patience and whatever you, whatever else you have in reserve, you know? So. That's the problem, and it's frustrating because you watch your 17-year-old son, who is one of the greatest people you've ever met in your life, just struggle with this and get frustrated by it and wonder why it's happening to him. The, the parents of children who go through a, a, a deadly disease, like um, a friend of mine who uh, was also passed away, uh, his name was Howard Fingers, H. Fingers, uh, his son developed neuroblastoma, uh, brain cancer, childhood, and it was a nightmare. And he ended up, well, he, he while he didn't commit suicide, he lived hard after his son Carter had died. And he ended up driving drunk into a tree and dying. So, you know, anyway, I like, <laughs> wow, this is a real downer. I'm very sorry. I know you all are used to me being kind of goofy silly but um if you've been watching the videos you know that my the number of videos coming out has dropped the in my opinion the levity of them has dropped to an extent as well i've stopped doing the little add-ins the comic breaks the even just my running commentary on the games and right now the only game there is is rimworld for me at the moment um it's not it's not what it used to be and if you're spending the time to watch something that I put together, you should probably know why. So, here it all goes in order. <laughs> Last July, my father was diagnosed with uh, glio, uh, glioma, high-grade 
and he died on December 23rd last year and my son was diagnosed uh, we lost one of our NID members elite damage uh, sudden heart failure um, you know my job it's just kind of a downtime for the Bulls there's people that have it worse I know there's people that have it worse but this is the first time I've had to go through all this unfortunately I've been on this planet for half a century and watching my mom try and struggle through everything after losing my dad trying to get everything all squared away with his stuff watching my son spiral into depression and then find out that it was due to blood sugar imbalances and then the literally the hourly fight to keep his levels proper is just a drain and the loss of the job now the stress of money and what are you going to do and it's just it's literally just pig piling on bulls right now so i offer you my apologies and i offer you those reasons as why i haven't been as good as i have been however i'm hoping that this is all going to turn out for the better especially f with the job front now the job i had offered me great flexibility and when i was available and when i wasn't so my next job probably won't give me that however as that particular job transformed as various entities took over the wireless division and decided to take what was in my opinion a winning formula and change it into the formula that led to landline and its inevitable demise uh, i began to not like my job and after 20 years if you decide you start hating a job that you used to love and literally gave you all for it probably made me less happy than i would be otherwise so i'm hoping that this will be a good thing and maybe it will be maybe it won't be i don't know we're gonna find out because that's all i can do is just keep chugging forward so on monday i'm gonna be meeting with uh well, i guess you call him a headhunter professional job placement service you know headhunter um, that Verizon has booked for those of us that are being laid off which is very thoughtful of them we don't want you but here's somebody that can help you find someone who does <laughs> you know, that's kind of a blow to the ego too if you think about it it's like yeah we don't want you anymore wait what <laughs> anyway so that's what's been going down in Bulls world um, please don't don't you don't need to comment you don't need to do anything just if you've bothered to listen this long know that i am going to just continue to try and be me and a little better me and hopefully that'll all work out so thank you very much for listening and hopefully i'll keep getting some stuff out there for you make you giggle a little bit make you cringe when i do things that you go oh why do you do that and uh hopefully we'll have some fun together from there thanks a lot mm -hmm.